everyone, this is Miss Sitting Around from Sparkling Memories. Today we are actually going to talk about borrowing money to your friends, family, or even associates. And yes, borrowing money can be very difficult. Of course, we all know that different things happen and sometimes someone might need a little help. So, if you are in a position to help that person, you want to be the nice one and say, okay, let me help you for a certain amount of time as long as you remember to pay me back. But... When it comes to borrowing money, things can get a lot complicated because the person might be out of work or the person might be getting into something else that requires more finance in terms of money they might need or help or some type of assistance, right? I'm not talking about government. I'm not talking about simple things like that. Say, for instance, you have a car and your car breaks down. Maybe it might be something went wrong with your transmission or your engine or something. Those are very expensive things when it comes to your car. And you just don't want to be the kind of person that's like, yeah, come, I can help you. No, because that's more, at least a thousand to change just to fix those kind of parts, right? Now, what happens is a lot of people, they're very nice when it comes to asking for the cash and very sympathetic and very low in terms of the attitude and very you know i i really hope that you can help me and i honestly gonna help you i'm gonna pay you back on time with interest they give you all kinds of stories and the difference is is whether or not you believe them because i could give you money but are you really gonna pay it back in the end the first thing to notice is when someone says they're going to borrow you money, if they're ever going to be in position to pay you back. You look at the past, you look at the present, and you look at why the person's in that current situation. Because you have to keep your eyes open just as much as your ears to know if this person's actually going to pay you back. The second thing, is this person reliable? Have you stated to this person, okay, we're going to the movies on Wednesday. And they show up Wednesday, and you told them, okay, what time? You told them 7. They get there around 8.30, rolling out, like they didn't know the movie started at 7. Is this person trustworthy? Now if you have that car sit for you, and they end up in a car accident. Keyword, accident. Now, is this person someone you can trust later on with something else that's a little bit not as complex as borrowing your car. Think about it. <laughs> the third thing you want to look at when borrowing people money. If the person actually has a plan to pay you back. Some people could say, okay, I get paid with every two weeks. I'll pay you back at least $100 a week. Or maybe I could do some other work for you in replacement for that. Maybe babysitting. And maybe you kind of person that needs a babysitter or possibly somebody cut your grass or something to that extent but the main thing is you want to know if this person can pay you back buying money is one thing getting it back completely different ball park i can tell you the fourth thing if the person comes to you and they actually tells you the truth that look i know i'm supposed to pay you back on monday and today is wednesday no no I gave you money on Saturday. You say you're paying back Monday. Wednesday, you're going to try and contact me? Really? So what happened to Tuesday? Well, the actual day you were supposed to be paying me back. Monday. What happened to that day? Then you can call. You can text. You can email. Shoot, you could do UPS, USPS. How you mistake Monday for Wednesday? This is the thing about borrowing money, right? The fifth thing. If you see the person and they're spending money like it's going out of style, and they're spending like they got it like that, and the back of your mind is like, wait, doesn't Susie owe me money? And now she out here eating red lobster, out here eating Olive Garden. What? That can't be her over there sitting down at that table, right? But you don't know her situation, but she had enough money to go eat. And she knows she owe you. <laughs> now, imagine a scenario where you approach a person trying to get your money back. Now, two or, one, two or more things can happen. 
they go pretend they didn't see you, give you an explanation that sounds like BS, or they can simply give you a sort of payment, maybe at like $20 or like $40 and say, I'll get back to you as soon as possible, maybe next week. Okay, cool. The only problem is when you are borrowing money, you want to borrow to someone that if the person doesn't pay you back, you can actually afford to give away whatever you actually borrowing the person. If you can't afford to give the person a hundred dollars, then don't lend out a hundred dollars. Now, if the hundred dollars was like for your rent and stuff, and now you can't pay your rent or car note or buy groceries or whatever you want to do with your money, if you can't afford to give it and have the person keep it, then don't borrow it out. Another thing when it comes to borrowing money, borrowing money to strangers is one thing. Borrowing money to your family members, <laughs> that's a headache. I can tell you, it's a headache and it is something that's like, you don't want to mix your money with your family, much less your friends. Because relationships can go south when you start saying, okay, where's my money? <laughs> you know, literally like, what happened? I paid you, you for put me back at this time. You know my number and my text, you know my car. And now you try to ghost me. It wasn't like that when you came to me and you wanted the money. You know that now that I got paid, you, you have to pay me back. And the thing is, a lot of times people are not interested in giving you interest in putting money a little bit more than they actually owe. Unless it's something like a loan or something to that extent, like a car or something, whereas it's finance, maybe they'll be willing to pay it if it's a credit card. Maybe they'll be willing to pay the interest on that. But borrowing money to someone, you got to be care very careful with that. It's not the same as having a credit card. Where you call pay different payments and then your interest is there plus your credit score is going to be affected in terms of your payment, how much accounts you have, things of that nature. Having a credit card is basically borrowing money. That's another way you borrow money. Another thing with borrowing money is the actual loan. Whether it be an auto, whether it be a mortgage, whether it be... That's a simple personal loan or a business loan. That's all borrowing money. Same thing. Loan, borrow, go hand in hand. Same thing. With the impression that you're going to pay them back at some point. Now, when it comes to dealing with individuals that are not in a position to pay you back, you might not want to borrow money at that particular time. And it's okay to say, look, I understand you need this help, Mary, but due to how I see how you roll in and how you dealt with information and how you dealt with me in the past and the fact that I gave you a little bit to start with and you haven't even given me the $40 from last month and now you're asking for another 150 bucks for something else, I'm not able to give you that money. Now, certain relationships might go south. Some might get better because now the person has an understanding of where it went wrong and I want to continue having a, some type of relationship with you and they might sympathize with you. But the whole purpose of borrowing money is not just to do a good deed. The person might actually need it. It becomes very complicated, depends on the person, the position you're in financially, how they're going to pay you back, and if you really want to. Yes, I did say that, if you really want to. Because you actually have to take in consideration, do I really want to borrow this money to her? Do I really want to do this? And if, ladies, if you're a guy and your guy needs money all the time and you always giving it, maybe it's time you rethink what you're doing. Because a lot of these young guys, they will take your money. Yeah. With no problem. <laughs> So be very careful with that because I've seen it too many times and it's really ridiculous because I'm like, yo, you're a female. Why are you giving a guy your money? He isn't actually borrowing. You've given it and he's taking it. Borrow, take, 
give those are all different things okay because if i borrow you you money i expect my money okay don't be don't be out here try to duck me or ghost me then we got a problem you know what i'm saying borrowing money is a serious deal and i want y'all to know just think about it before you do it so next time this is mrs ralph for sparkling memories Bye bye